Hi everyone, this is Dave Epp with Epp Foundation Repair, and today we're going to do a three minutes of why with your foundation guy. I'm going to set a timer so I can keep us under time and try to get you as much information I can in three minutes. The timer is starting. So why is foundation drainage important? Um, Residential drainage is essential because it, it gets water away from the foundation. And why is that important? Um, because you don't want water sitting up against your walls um, in the soil up against your walls. So here's your wall and you don't, on the outside, that's going to be called what we call in a professional is going to call a hydrostatic pressure. Hydrostatic pressure can cause a lot of damage, a lot of issues. It can cause a lot of leaks that might not even necessarily be there if you could just get the water away. So getting water away from the foundation is always the number one thing. I do want to caveat that a little bit of if you do have a crack in your wall and you get water away from your foundation, it might help but that crack is still there. So we always encourage people to still fix the crack but also address the water up against the foundation. What are some ways that um, you, even the homeowner, maybe, you'll, maybe you want help from a professional to do these things. Maybe you can do some of them on your own um, if, if you, you're a good DIYer, but proper drainage. If you have negative drainage coming down towards your house, meaning the water is flowing towards your home, that's always a bad thing. You always want water to get away from your um, house. Uh, and that, that's done by good gutters. You're gonna want good gutters. You're gonna have clog free gutters. If you have a lot of trees and a lot of those helicopters and stuff here in the Midwest, you know, you're gonna have covers over there. You're gonna wanna have downspout extensions. We always tell people, we'd like water to get away at least 10 feet from the, lot, from the home. Does that mean you have to have 10 foot gutters? Not necessarily, but maybe you have an underground extension or something like that. Also, you, where does your sump pump discharge? You don't wanna discharge your sump pump right next to your foundation, so it's just coming back in and recirculating that pump. Um, maybe you need an exterior drain tile system or an interior drain tile system. Exterior is obviously gonna be a little bit more cumbersome. A lot more dirt's gonna to have to come out and they're gonna to have to waterproof the wall, and put in drain tile, things like that. Interior, it is a little bit more of a simpler process. A typical exterior um, job is usually probably gonna be around fifteen to $20,000 because of all the, the labor and excavation. An interior drain tile job, just to kind of give you a rough estimate, usually would run around four to $6,000. Um, to solve a lot. Of, that's our average job that we do for people. So that kind of gives you a, a little bit of a down low on how you can get water away from your home. I think the number one thing is gutters and downspouts and positive drainage. Get the water as far away as possible. So that's what we always recommend when we go look at a home that has a leak that has bowing walls, that has a lot of hydrostatic pressure up against it, against it. It's just get that water. Well, there's my timer. So let's wrap this up. And again, this is Dave Epp with Epp Foundation Repair. And that was three minutes of why with your foundation guy.